Yes! Here at Ultimate Reloader, we've used a bunch of different types of target camera systems, but now we have something completely different, and that's the subject of this video. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm back with Travis Fox. Thank you for joining us, Travis. Hi, Gavin. Good to be here, guys. So this video specifically is about the Caldwell target camera system, but before we even get it up onto the bench, we wanted to kind of walk through the other target camera systems that we have used or currently still use. Yep. So what do we got here, Travis? Well, we got quite an array here. And Gavin, I want you to give us over the years what you've used, and I want you to tell us the pros and cons of what we've all got sure. here. Okay, so starting with the old phone, right? This is going to be the easiest solution. You probably already have it on you. Newer phone cameras are really good. They're easy to use. Some of the cons would be getting target debris on your phone. That's a, a, an obvious con. If it's raining, you know, your phone can get wet. Uh, for us, uh, a lot of us are using iPhones and we use Windows PCs. It's a total pain in the neck to get the files. Yeah, to get them to mesh yeah, together. You can't put a micro SD card inside and so it's just kind of frustrating. But I love the camera on the iPhone. Yeah, Cameras do great. a really, really great job. Then we've got the GoPro series of cameras. We've used these over the years. Pros, just click and go. You hit that button, you start recording, you know it's gonna be in focus. Uh, it might not look overly artistic. Uh, exposure control is gonna be decent. Some of the cons are it is just ultra, ultra wide angle. It can be difficult to get the shot to look right if you're shooting at an angle. Um, but overall, not too bad of an option. The drone is a really interesting one because of course you've got remote start and stop on the camera. You've got a lot of compositional freedom. Uh, really the only downside that you have is the half an hour battery life. We've run a Phantom 4, this is a Mavic Air 2. Both have been really good units. We have not destroyed either one yet, which is just crazy. We had a lot of close calls with the Phantom 4. Uh, so we use the drone primarily to capture hits on steel at distance. Can't beat it for that. It's pretty cool. Yep especially where you have limited access, we're up here in the mountains, so it's not like we can just run out to the target on the side-by-side. -side. The DSLR has been our preferred target camera for quite a few shooting scenarios over the years. <laughs> I know you were going to point out, this is a literal target camera. Has been. Yep. I think I shot that with a 6 arc, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? It still works. Uh, pros are you can zoom, you can control focus, you can control exposure, and you get really great image quality. This is a Panasonic Lumix G7. We have 4K Ultra HD. Downsides are going to be, unless you have some fancy remote start-stop kind of a situation, you got to go out to the target and, and hit record. And then also target debris, again, kind of like with the phone. Uh, the, the steel hitting the target, if the bullet hits a rock, even the dust and dirt flies everywhere. This camera has been coated with dirt. And, yeah. and dirt is crammed into the lens. It's and a it, little gritty on the focus. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we have the Tacticam. This particular Tacticam is going to be a lot like a GoPro. The Tacticams and trigger cams that are mounted to either a spotter or a scope are an interesting uh, option because you can see the trace. Yep. You know, and you can, you can see targets that are really far out there. The downsides are going to be definitely image quality isn't going to be as good as some of these other solutions. And you have all that heat boil, mirage, all those environmental effects. If it's mounted to the rifle scope, you have the recoil to deal with. So all of these cameras have their place. They all have their pros and cons, different price points, different costs and everything. Why don't we next get out the Caldwell target camera system and we'll compare it to all of these. So here it is, the Caldwell Ballistic precision long range target camera system. system. We will subsequently Ooh, call this the Caldwell target camera system. Travis has been using this for a while. What are some of the things that, that you've done with it so far? Let's see, we used it on the on-shoots test. If you guys go back, you'll see that with the EC tuner, the mm -hmm. EC barrel tuner. Uh, I used it on the craft test, I believe, just to watch it. Very important to use it. We're gonna go over why that is. 
uh, and we use it on some long range stuff here recently also. Mm -hmm. Why don't we do a re-unboxing? It comes with this nice case that you can take to the range with you and, and we put it all back together basically the way it came. Yep. Let's see what's included. So we've got stakes in here for staking down the tripods on a breezy day. I haven't, I honestly have not used those yet. Here, I'm gonna get all this stuff out, on the, out. Uh, on the bench so we can show it all, everything that's included. Okay. Two tripods. Two tripods. These are what the transmitter and the receiver will go on. We're gonna go over that here in a moment also. It's got, everything's in this like protected foam. Directions, for those of you who don't read directions, you should because it'll <laughs> really help. <laughs> I actually learned a bunch from this thing. So you have two of these units here. These have a lithium battery inside them that are chargeable. So mm -hmm. you can use them plugged in. You can also charge them. They uh, run up to six hours, apparently. Uh, I never had a problem with them running out when I use them. So, and they are different. When you look at the bottoms of these, they're different. One's a transmitter and one's a receiver. Mm -hmm. The transmitter one, this one here, is going to be what we're going to hook the camera and clamp system onto. So we're gonna go over this, what we do here. And it's got two of these charger cords. Mm -hmm. Which I believe we can plug those in. Yeah. Here's the cool thing about our range is we installed underground wiring and a, basically a power system that runs over to a generator. So when we start up our generator, we can plug in the transmitter at the target, have it plugged in, plug in the other one at the firing line where the receiver is gonna be, and we should be able to run all day and not even think about battery. So I, don't have, I can only shoot for all day long? Yeah, exactly. Excellent. And all night. <laughs> we like Perfect. to shoot at night. Why? Because the mirage and yeah. sometimes the wind goes way down. Actually, that is very, is very, very handy to do when we're testing stuff because sometimes your groups open up strictly because of the mirage. So yep. if you can eliminate that, you can, you can shoot smaller groups. Depends on how small you're going and we go pretty small here with our groups. So. Both of these things screw right onto the top of these tripods. So this system is set up. Got then the I'm going to show you here. This is pretty, pretty dang simple. So it's got a clamp. Clamp this onto here. This is going to maneuver around. And actually, these will end up. So if you guys look at these, this, this is your, your receiver and your sending face. So they're going to want to face each other. Hmm in this manner here. I, I do think that if you get out to distance, that's probably gonna be very important. Okay, let's plug the camera in. Hardware is set up. Awesome, let's take a look at the app. So Caldwell has published a free target camera app for both iOS and Android. This is different than the app you've seen us use with the G2 Chronograph. And which one are we got we got going here? So this is an Android device and yep. I've got the so I've downloaded the Android. I'm gonna hook up to the Wi-Fi that's that these put out in order to make this function. Gotcha. So I'm gonna pick the receiver because we have a transmitter that the camera's on. Yep. And a re, and a receiver that we are going to be picking it up with. Yep, looks like you're connected. Go to the app, hit this little there's a little eyeball thing over here. Yep. Hit that. There's our view. <laughs> We've got the go over there. We've got the camera pointing at the mill right now. And there's Gavin. <laughs> look at that. So awesome. you'll look at uh, there's pretty simple controls on this. Down here in the corner is a picture button so you can take a picture, which is just be one frame. There is a video record button. So it's green right now. The green means it is not recording, but ready, huh? R but it's ready. So yep. green means you're ready to go. Cool. And then in this app, which we have not used, is a um, shot calculator on there. So if you are shooting target paper, Caldwell sells that, I believe, also, or any kind of paper that is grid marked, you can and you know the grid lines. You tell the you tell the app what the grid line size are, and it will measure those shot cool. grouping sizes. Well, so, that looks pretty easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> you know, I really would like to show these guys some shots on steel. Could you do that for us? Let's maybe? do it. Let's go get it set okay. up next to the steel outside the shop. Excellent. So we got the target camera set up on the target. Gavin just walked it out there. So Gavin, could you go make some noise for us, please? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what? It's show and tell time. Back in grade school, one of my favorite things was show and tell. And <laughs> I'll tell you, 
I've been waiting for a 92 FS for a long time. Like is not a strong enough word. <laughs> Love is not a strong enough word for this gun. So let's go ring some steel with this new Beretta that I got. Got my Caldwell Ear Pro. All right, we're gonna do this. As soon as Gavin walks out the door here, I'm gonna hit this screen record. He's gonna uh, give me a thumbs up on the target camera here that we know it's going. We're gonna be looking looking here live on the target camera. And the interesting thing is we are actually in the building. Oh, see, there he is. Thumbs up, the Beretta. Nice. We'll hear some shots here in just a minute. thing <laughs> all right so that worked well <laughs> we had the screen record on there's a smile on Gavin's face oh man pretty cool that is the best pistol ever seriously <laughs> if you don't have a 92 FS you totally need one so here's the interesting thing on this actually that I was just thinking about we're in the building right now and granted the thing is not that far away we got the receiver is inside here the transmitter is out, what is that, probably 30 yards outside the door yep. of the building here? Yep, right through so the building. That's actually working pretty well. The other thing we wanted to talk about is I set a scenario up on this. I kind of wanted to see how this was going to do for longer range type scenarios. Yep. And I thought, I want to try and try and see if I can give this thing some trouble. I set up a 550 yard piece of steel up on the hill up here and kind of set it in through this slot in the trees. And you actually couldn't see the the camera transmitter coming to the receiver which was next to me at the target line and i got it to work just fine it was a oh, li yeah. little bit little bit glitchy when the trees were kind of moving around i think but it still worked really well so i was super happy with that that's a small piece of steel too and and the 223 trainer that was a 223 trainer great that thing's great. a hammer yeah. that's pretty fun um but then i wanted to take it a step further so Quite, I decided quite a few steps yeah. further. <laughs> so Caldwell advertises is that you know the old thing of up to a mile. Well, you know, up to a mile, what does that actually mean? Well, I took it to I took it home one night and I was I had to do some stuff with my kids, get them from practice and stuff and take another kid home. So I set the camera transmitter up at my house and took the receiver with me and drove all the way across the valley where I live to another friend's house and walked out another yard, threw the, threw the receiver up, and was able to get an image. And I, I could have used it for a target. Now, it's granted, it wasn't super smooth flow. What was the yardage on that? It was over 2,500 yards. Wow. So okay. it was... It was uh, well over a mile. 1.3, I believe is what it was. Yeah. And so I got a very clear image. Now, it wasn't a smooth transmission, but it was very clear. Like lower frame rate, right? Yeah. It wasn't refreshing right. quite as frequently. But if I, wanted to, if I wanted to shoot a target and see an impact on it, it would yeah. have absolutely worked for it. That is really, really cool. So again, coming back to our primary scenario, there's so many times when we want to grab a rifle sit down on the bench and do some shooting. And if I can set up a camera behind me and I can set up my tablet, and I hit, can hit record on both and start shooting. And then if I'm waiting for the barrel to cool, hit them both, stop for a while, start recording again. This device solves some very real and tangible problems for us. We're gonna still use a lot of the other target camera setups that we showed because they also have their specific application and their specific purpose. We just got the Caldwell target camera system and here's our question for you is, do you have one of these or do you have a different type of target camera system? What are you using it for? Or if you got one of these, what would you use it for? Please drop a comment and start a discussion. Thank you, Travis, for Thanks. pioneering this system here at the Ultimate Reloader Ranch. I think we'll have a lot of cool stuff to do with yeah, it. This is gonna work well for us. Yep. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.